smarts. Think you've got them? Find out now. Welcome to Street Smarts, the show where people try to prove how bright they are by predicting just how dim-witted other people can be. Now, I hit the streets looking for ordinary men and women and tested their street smarts by asking basic questions about the world around them. It will be up to our players to determine who's got it going on and who's a Fruit Loop short of a bowl. And speaking of our players, let's meet them. Hello, JR. What's up, JR? Oh, yeah. Shirley, also here. On street smarts, the winner goes home richer and the loser just goes home. Now, right. let's meet the three people they'll be making snap judgments about. First up, I met Virginia in Denver who copped to some very sexy photos. <laughs> Virginia, where are you from? Warwick, Rhode Island. No, Rhode Island, that's not a very big place. It's big enough for me. Oh, it is? Yeah. What can you do in Rhode Island? Everything you can do in New York. Oh, yeah? Sure. Virginia, I heard there was a picture of you, bikini and boots. I said to him, I want my picture taken. He says, only if you put your bikini on and boots, your uh, bathing suit and boots. And you did it? I did it. Okay. Four inches of snow. <laughs> okay, look for that on the internet. And at the Gay Pride Festival in, Los Angeles, in Long Beach, California, Dennis passed along some words of wisdom. Dennis, what's the best advice your mom ever gave you? Don't piss in the wind and don't eat yellow snow. Dennis, what's the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you? I was at the Beverly Center in LA, and I washed clothes that day and dried them, and had some underwear caught in the cuff of my jeans, and it came out as well. Did anyone see this? Yeah, you know, I got laughed at. And what kind of underwear do you wear? G strings. You mean a thong? Even hey, move your buh, buh, buh. Yeah, yeah. No, it's like a tra, tra, tra. Oh my god! And finally, Melissa turned a trick with her talented tongue. So Melissa, not only do you have a pierced tongue, but you can apparently tie a stem together. Yeah, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna okay. do this right now. Go for it. Half hour show. Have you ever done this before? Right there. Oh my God, she did it. Wow. That's wow. talent, right there. Okay. Melissa, I understand you're a kickboxer. Yes, I am. So do you think you could take me? Oh yeah, of course, definitely. Oh, oh yeah. Hi! Yeah, right, nose through the brain, dead. Bring that crap on. All right. All right. Time to play a little game we like to call Who Knew It? Yeah. We ask the same question to all three people in the field, and your challenge is to guess who answered the question right. You will lock in your choice, and a correct guess will earn you $100. Yeah. Okay, guys, put on your thinking caps. The first question I asked to Virginia, Dennis, and Melissa was, before becoming president, what state was Bill Clinton governor of? So who knew it, guys? Do you think it was Virginia, Dennis, or Melissa that knew that one? All right, JR and Shirley are making decisions, and okay, JR, all right. Okay, you guys are locked in, right? Okay, we have a Virginia and a Dennis. Interesting. Shirley, you're going to go Virginia. She th thinks she knows this. Yes, I'm going with Virginia. She's um, old, seems like she knows a lot about history. <laughs> <laughs> Take a look. Before becoming president, what state was Bill Clinton governor of? Alabama. Alabama, that's right. He's sweet home Alabama. You like Leonard Skinner? Who? Freebird? <laughs> Who? <laughs> Skinner! I'm sorry, she got that wrong, Charlie. She didn't know the answer. Now, JR, you think Dennis can come through for you on this yeah. one? Yeah. I'm know? definitely thinking Dennis just because he's up with the political issues and gay rights activists. And Very good strategy, JR. Let's check it out. Before coming president, what state was Bill Clinton governor of? California. He's governor of California? I think Kentucky or something. So which one do you think? California, because he got a tan. All the black people like him. <laughs> he got a tan. I'm sorry, you got that wrong, JR. It looks like uh, I guess Melissa's the one who got that. Correct state, Arkansas. Hope, Arkansas. I'm from a town called Hope. All right, next question. Uh, according to their claim, what melts in your mouth, not in your hand? So who knew that one, guys? Virginia, Dennis, or Melissa knew that one. All right, and JR loves to just twirl. All right, that's okay. <laughs> Dennis, according to their claim, what melts in your mouth, not in your hand? Chocolate, baby. Chocolate in your mouth. Yes, wait, oh, okay. What kind of chocolate? You know, I'm that type of chocolate that don't cause cavities. Right. And you don't gain weight. So it melts in your mouth. Yeah. Here, watch, put my finger in your mouth. Oh, that's the wrong answer there, Shirley. I'm sorry, Dennis didn't know. Okay, all right, uh, JR, we're gonna see if Melissa can get you on the board. According to their claim, what melts in your mouth, not in your hand? 
M&M's. There you go. What kind of M&M's do you like? I like, oh, I like peanut M&M's. You like the one, you like nuts? Yeah, they're good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> There you go, correct answer, way to go, Jared. 100 bucks for you, you're on the board. You got an early lead, nice job, Eminem. Okay guys, here's the third question of the round. I showed all three this can of uh, Silly String and asked them, what do you, oh, okay. I asked them, what do you call the stuff inside this can? Who knew it? Hmm. Lock in! Oh, okay, right. <laughs> there we go. All right, who knew it? Let's see, you got, okay, we're locked in. We got Melissa and Dennis, you guys think, huh? Okay. Dennis, what do you call the stuff inside of this can. Oh. What is this? Look at you. Whoopee cream. What is it? Whoopee cream. Well, look, we can't be getting busy right here on camera. We can't be doing this. I'm sorry, he did not know, Jay. I'm sorry, he didn't know. Charlotte, we're gonna check in with Melissa and see if we can tie up the game. Melissa, what do you call this stuff inside of this can? What is that? Silly string. Yeah, do you like this stuff? Oh, yeah. You gonna kick my ass now? Oh, yeah, I love this okay. stuff. <laughs> she got it right, way to go. You have Melissa, she yeah. got it right, Charlie. Nice job. Uh, you could have yeah. only seen what I did to Virginia. Let's recap the score. Jared, you got 100 bucks. Charlie, also 100 bucks. Very nice, guys. All right, our players will use every ounce of their gray matter to figure out who blew it when we return. Woo -hoo. What bed did William Murphy invent? Whoa, uh, the Steely Posture Pedic. None of that? I think so. What kind of bed do you have? I got a, I ain't got no bed, I sleep on the couch. Virginia, what do you call the stuff inside this can? Booty gum. Don't put it on me. Come on, let me have it! <laughs> oh, that feels good, oh, that feels good. <laughs> Welcome back to Street Smarts. It's time to meet our players. Now we have JR here. JR, why is the mallet your favorite tool? Well, me and my friend saw these, this couple fighting a long time ago. And so me and the, we went up to them and we told them that they should calm down. And next thing you know, he's chasing us around the park with a big mallet. <laughs> but he didn't catch you. No, no. All right, very interesting. All right, JR. Now, Shirley, I understand you have an interesting way of picking up men. Well, Frank, are you available? Uh, yeah, OK, sure. Come a little closer. All right. Not uh, sure. How do you do this? You get men that way, that works? That'll work? Okay, all right, it worked right. on me. It's time to get your second wind as we enter our next round. Who blew it? This time we asked the same question, only two of our street savants, one answered right and one answered wrong. Each time JR or Shirley correctly identifies which scholar tanked the question, they get 200 bucks now. Yeah. And in this round, you can earn an extra $200 by using the dunce cap sitting in front of you. Here's how it works. When you hear a question you think will baffle your opponent, buzz in and dunce them. They cannot answer the question, you get 200 additional dollars. Yeah. Remember, there's only one dunce in the round, so use it wisely. All right, here's the first question I asked both Dennis and Melissa. I asked them, what did Porky Pig say at the end of every Looney Tunes cartoon? Who blew it? What do you think? Do you think it was Dennis or Melissa? What do you think, JR? Oh, Jesus. Oh. <laughs> He's not an option in this round. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay, uh, okay, you're locked in. You both think Dennis did it. Shirley, you think Dennis is the one who blew this? Yes, Dennis seems kind of um, not all there. All right, let's check it out. <laughs> what did Porky Pig say at the end of every Looney Tunes cartoon? Uh, uh that's off of. <laughs> that's a pretty good impression. Yeah. No. He got that right. I'm sorry, guys. No money for either one of you. He knew the answer. Now, uh, it looks like Melissa's the one who missed it, so let's check it out. What did Porky Pig say at the end of every Looney Tune cartoon? I'll be back. <laughs> I'll be back. Very nice, Melissa. All right, guys. Here's a question I asked to Virginia and to Melissa. I asked them, whose face is said to be on the Shroud of Turin? You've been done, JR. I'm sorry, Shirley, throw the cap on there. JR, if you cannot answer the question, Shirley gets 200 bucks, but if you get it right, you get the 200 bucks and she sports the cap. I'll read the question again, you have five seconds. Whose face is said to be on the Shroud of Turin? That's an easy one, Jesus. That is the correct answer, way to go, JR. Throw the dunce on Shirley. Nice shot, the 200 bucks to you. Gives you an early lead, all right. Now, what do you guys think? Who blew this one, Virginia or Melissa? I'll go with, uh... What do you think, Shirley? 
Okay, and okay. You, you oh go. boy. There okay, you are you, you guys locked in? Got Both it. going with Melissa. JR, you think Melissa blew this one? Yeah. Okay. Definitely. Well, let's check it out. Melissa, whose face is said to be on the shroud of Turin? Tom Cruise. <laughs> yeah, the long hair, got the shoulder length hair, go to. Yeah, okay. Definitely works. <laughs> she blew it. Way to go. 200 bucks for each of you. Nice job. Uh, looks like. Um, Virginia did know that one. All right, here's uh, the last question of the round, guys. This question was to Virginia and to Dennis. What do you call the organ that fish use to breathe? Who blew it, guys? What do you think? Do you think Virginia or Dennis blew this one? All right, and all right, you, you guys are locked in. You're both thinking Dennis. All right, Shirley, you think Dennis blew this? Yes, Dennis isn't too smart. Okay. <laughs> all right, let's take a look. Blunt. Dennis, what do you call the organ that fish use to breathe? A blowpipe. A blowpipe? Okay. Tissues? A blowpipe. <laughs> he blew it! You both had Dennis. Two hundred dollars for each of you. Nice job. Correct answer is gills. Tissues, gills. All right. Let's recap the scores. JR after two rounds, seven hundred bucks. Way to go, brother. Shirley, five hundred dollars. She's close. How do our players think they know our walkway wizards? We'll see who they know best when we come back. What is primarily sold at a brothel? A brothel? Uh, soup. Soup? Soup. Yeah, you get the, the soup like the broth there? Yeah, yeah, totally. Welcome back. Does anyone have any horse sense at all? Well, we're gonna find out now because it's time to pick your pony. This time, JR and Shirley will each choose one of the three scholars for the entire round and try to guess how they'll answer three questions. A correct prediction is now worth 300 bucks. Yeah! And to keep things yeah! interesting, we're gonna leave the dunce cap in this round, only this time it's worth 300 bucks. Very nice. And remember, there's only one dunce, camp, dunce cap remaining in the game. Now, the player who is trailing chooses first. Shirley, that would be you. So, Shirley, who would you like to saddle? Dennis. You're gonna go with Dennis? Yeah, very nice. I'm going with Dennis. JR, how about you? I'll be going with Melissa. You're gonna go with Melissa the kickboxer? Very nice. All right, Shirley, here's the first question to Dennis. Finish the line, lights, camera. All right, do you think you got that right or wrong, Shirley? What do you think? 300 bucks on the line, you can take the lead if you get this. I think he got it right. You think he got he this one right? He seems like a man of action. Okay, let's try that right now. Finish the line, lights, camera. Action, baby. Action, baby? Action, baby. Where do you, where do you usually hear that, that term, lights, camera, action? In the bedroom. <laughs> Shirley, you take the lead. $800 a center. Very nice. All right, JR, the first question, Melissa, was what does it mean if a body part is flaccid? Do you think she got that right or wrong? I got, I think she's going with right because that's, uh, she seems pretty firm, <laughs> I guess. All right, let's check it out. <laughs> Melissa, what does it mean if a body part is flaccid? I want to say decapitated. It's decapitated? <laughs> I want to say so. Flaccid actually means it's uh, limp. Oh, all right. So usually that would be pertaining to work. <laughs> she got that wrong. I'm sorry, Jared. She got it wrong. Limp, soft, flabby is the answer we're looking for. All right, Shirley, next question to Dennis. Uh, the action film Romeo Must Die is based on what Shakespearean play? Do you think he got that right or wrong? What do you think? I think he got it right. You think he got it right? Yes, I, I think he's been to a couple plays. OK, let's check it out. The action film Romeo Must Die is based on what Shakespearean play? Romeo and Juliet. Do you like that story? Yes, my own brother been out. Aaliyah with oh. the beat weave. Yeah, she had She's hair. cute. She is, she's hot. Is she legal I'm yet? Skinny too. Yeah, okay. Is she legal age yet? Yeah. She's like 18. Yeah, she's, right, she's hot. Yeah. <laughs> Way to go, Shirley, you got it right. You got it for you. Shakespearean work, you knew that one. All right, JR, <laughs> next question to Melissa. What continent is China on? Think she got that right or wrong? What do you I'm think? gonna go with a right answer because that's pretty basic knowledge. Okay, let's see if you're right, Jar. <laughs> Melissa, what continent is China on? Asia. It's on Asia, there you go. Remember that band, Asia? No. The heat of the moment. No. Don't no. cry. <laughs> How old are you? 21. That's right. <laughs> Show my age on that one. Wait she said it. She said Asia. Oh my God. You're down 100 bucks. Don't worry. You're making a nice comeback here now. Shirley, last question of the round for Dennis. Okay. This is for you. What is the Hollywood Wax Museum famous for? Do you think he got this <laughs> right or wrong? Right or wrong? What do you think? 
I think he got it wrong. He got it wrong. Yeah, I don't think he's been there. Okay, what's that? I don't think he's been there. You don't think he's been there? No. no. Okay, let's take it. Let's take a look. What is the Hollywood Wax Museum famous for? Oh, they do bags. What do you mean they do their wax bags? <laughs> yeah. Do you have ever a problem with that? You have to get waxed? No, I have a couple of friends. Abo, mm, she got hairy back. And she goes to the Hollywood Wax Museum? Mm -hmm, she does. She got hairy back. You got it wrong. Way to go, Shirley. Another threat of much for you. Extend your lead. The correct answer is uh, having celebrity figures cast in wax. Yeah. Right. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay, uh, JR, here's the question I asked to Melissa. I showed Melissa this abbreviation and asked her, what does this stand for? Do you think she got that right or wrong? <laughs> I'll have to go with the right because she, I guess she looks somewhat knowledgeable, I guess. Okay, all right, let's take a look. <laughs> Melissa, what does this stand for? Economical tax counter. All right, and all that stuff, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, et cetera, yeah. yeah. <laughs> she wants to kick my ass, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Oh, boy. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. The correct answer, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Wow. <laughs> All right, let's recap the scores here. Shirley, you pulled into the lead. 1,400 yeah. bucks. Yeah. JR, you're hanging oh. close for 1,000 bucks. Stay over there. When we return, JR and Shirley will be making a final prediction on a question I asked to Virginia, Dennis, and Melissa. The leads choose one of the Rhodes Scholars, predict whether they'll get it right or wrong, and make their last wager. Here's the question I asked all three. In slang terms, what's a carrot top? Don't go away, because only one player will survive our final round. The Wager of Death. Bye now, when we return, et cetera, et cetera. <laughs> Welcome back. Strap on your life vest, boys and girls. It's time for our final round, The Wager of Death. The crowd's frightened. All right, JR and Shirley, here's the skinny. During the break, each of you secretly chose one of the three people out on the street, secretly made a prediction as to whether they were right or wrong, and secretly wagered an amount of money not to exceed the total you now have. Let's recap the scores. Shirley, $1,400. Yeah, baby! Yeah, he's not having any of that. He's got 1000 yeah. That's good enough to win, trust me. Now remember, only one of you will be walking away with the cash, which means everything is riding on this final question. Now, here's the question I asked to Virginia, Dennis, and Melissa. In slang terms, what's a carrot top? All right, now, Shirley, we're gonna get your choice first. Whose clip would you like to see? Virginia. You're gonna go with Virginia, very nice. Yeah. Now, JR, how about you? I would like to go with him. Melissa. You're gonna go with Melissa, all right. Nobody picked Dennis, so we're gonna wave bye to him in my hat at the Gay Pride Festival. All right, all right, so, Shirley, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at Virginia's clip, see what she says. In slang terms, what's a carrot top? Redhead. There you go, what do you think of carrot tops? Yeah. I think they got hot stuff, boy. They, they can really be fun. That's your correct answer. Carrot Top is a redhead. Now, Shirley, you had Virginia. She got it right. Did you say right or wrong? You said wrong. Oh. Ow. How much is that going to cost you if you're 1400 bucks? $1,000. Oh. Oh, that takes you down to 400 All right, JR, you're in the lead. You're in the driver's seat now, buddy. All right, we're going to take, uh, take a look at Melissa's clip and see what she says. In slang terms, what's a carrot top? Really bad hairdo. What do you mean? You said your carrot top bad hairdo? Yeah, you just got some nasty ass hair going on. All right, a bad top, bad comedian, whatever we want to say. She got that wrong. All right, Melissa got it wrong, JR. You got a thousand bucks, you're in the lead. Did you say right or wrong? You said right. Is that going to cost you too much? I hope you didn't wager too much. Are you going to win? Thousand bucks takes it to zero. Shirley, you win. Yeah! Shirley's got four. In slang terms, what's a carrot top? The little green thing that sticks from the top of a carrot. You like carrots? Yeah, that's how I got these gorgeous eyes. 